Summer, 1964, Brazil. Latvian Nazi Herbert Zuckers is living quietly in Sao Paulo. For the man known as the hangman of Riga, it is a peaceful life. But all that is about to change. Zuckers was photographed in Brazil by someone from the Jewish population. They have heard of him, and they know who he is. Zuckers was involved in some of the most vile crimes of the Second World War. Zuckers, together with the Latvian Nazis, killed thousands of innocent people, children and elder people and women. And there's a lot of testimony, which I've read in archives from after the war, in which Zuckers, 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 the name keeps coming up. The photos of Zuckers travel halfway around the world to a special Nazi hunting unit within Israel's secret service. They kick off one of the most daring missions in the Mossad's history. September 1st, 1964, a Mossad agent is called to a meeting in an operational apartment in Paris. His commander tells him, we have a very special mission for you. We want to send you to South America to find for us a Nazi called Tsukos. He tells him, your name from today onward is Anton Künzle. He told me that Tsukos was living in Brazil. Tsukos was an officer in the Latvian Air Force before the war. Mid-1941, Hitler invades Latvia. Then Tsukos joins up with a gang of murderers and cutthroats. They went around following Nazi orders to go and commit atrocities on the Jews in Riga, capital of Latvia. They saw him personally snatching babies you know, from the arms of, of, of the mothers and, and killing them. They burned the synagogue with 300 people in it and didn't let anybody run out. He told me that Tsukos was responsible for the extermination of 30,000 Latvian Jews. Thinking of my parents, who both died in the Holocaust, I agreed immediately.